Hi guys, Dan, do you want to kick us off? Thank you. Yeah, it's been a tough week for sure. Um, I just think if you showed it together to the group today, um, and even my assistant Amber fell ill last night. Um, and then, to say, just the way that week's been, you just didn't know what was going to happen. Um, and I think for me, we lost Jazz and Yana on Friday, Saturday. Um, obviously, Flintney had been ill with COVID. Taylor was ill with COVID. So, all considering what happened, and Sophie's obviously nose and face fracture, it's been a challenging week and a great end off to it. Yeah. I think defensively we were outstanding today. You know, I think people say you were lucky or your goal. We weren't. We defended. We put our bodies on the line. We made great saves when we needed to. Um, so, yeah, no, I was really pleased with that. I think Lawsy was outstanding today. You know, she's had such a good pre season. Um, and I think that showed today. Yeah, hi, Matt. Um, I wanted to ask Arsenal started with kind of a back three. Yep. Did that take you by surprise at all? No, not really, because even if they're playing a the back four, they build with, with with three anyway. So we had planned for dealing with with a back three or them dropping us a full back just to correct the overload. Um, we just wanted to make sure that we dominated centrally because they like to get it into midfield, get it back, then go around you. So we stopped that happening. Um, so they had to go wide, force them into the turnover every now and then. Um, and then, as I say, I think defensively today, crosses, blocking shots, Lawsy's making saves when she needed to, thought it was outstanding. And I think we really restricted them to crosses coming in and shots from distance. And when um, Rachel Laws um, went down for treatment in the first half, you seemed to make a bit of a change pushing Taylor Hines higher up. Why was that? Um, we changed that at half time, really. We, we, what we just said was, I wasn't happy with. I thought we started slowly, and it reminded me a little bit of last year. We weren't getting into positions that we, we should be getting into. We was hesitant with the movement. Because Arsenal pressure with a lot of players. And um, we did it really well with training on Saturday. But training's different, obviously, to match day. Um, but if you move it quickly, if you look at the way we started the second half, you know, the goal come from the way that we, we, we broke their press. And once their press is broken, that's six, seven players out of the game. So, um, but yeah, no, we, we, we wanted to stretch them. We wanted to drop the centre-backs a little bit deeper because they do press so high. And it gives us a bit more space to try and get Fuka or Gemma on the ball in the middle. So, from that side, we was pleased with how it worked, especially start the second half. Molly. Hi, Matt. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, obviously, the team played very well for the entire game, but particularly in that end spell when obviously we've got the new rules and the added time extra, it didn't feel like your side ever really panicked or like immediately looked like they were going to concede. I just wonder if you could speak about the work that goes into that when you can get in a good position do you see it out? Um, we do a lot of work tactically um, a lot of that goes into pre-season what we've tried to do this year is try and make it a little bit simpler and consistent I mean we had a nightmare second half of the season last year with the injuries so I remember planning for one game the team changed three times and then at the back end of it it's actually when we played Arsenal away then we ended up having to change the system so um, we've done a lot of work on distances, defensive, defending crosses, because that's where a majority of goals come from in, in the Super League. So we looked at last season, we looked at the statistics, we looked at where do the goals come from, we looked at goalkeepers' positioning, look at where they set, where they not set. So we've done a lot of work on how, one, to stop conceding goals, but then, two, how to score goals. And uh, there was a bit of a shift last year in goals coming from open play. Um, so we wanted to make sure that we give ourselves the best possible chance of winning games. Uh, so we've done a lot of work on that um, to, to make sure that we win games. And how important is it for, for your team going forward now? You know, your priorities for this season, obviously trying to get that consistency. I know you talked a lot about that um, last, last campaign. Well, I think we've, we've got a, a better squad this time around. I think we've got the experience of last year I think if I go back to the Anfield game, we froze. Um, but we played at Anfield, Goodison Park, Villa Park. So coming here was, it was obviously it's a fantastic stadium. It's a record crowd today, but we, we've got the experience of last year, which we didn't have before. 
Um, look, the, the, the thing is, it's one game. Look, we beat Chelsea last year and everyone was, was, was raving about it. Then we went on a run without winning for four. So, like for me, it's just important we just take it game by game. We keep our feet on the ground. It was great to celebrate with our fans today. Um, and I like the way that they've segregated it now because I think that's going to make for better uh, atmospheres in the stadiums. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I don't remember that. 4 0. No. Oh, no, we won. Ah, oh, that wasn't the opener because we played Lincoln that year. We won 1 0. We did win here 4 0. It might have been here. We won 4 0. That was a good performance, that one. I remember that. Yeah. Well, I think if you look, even when we don't play in the main stadiums, the, the attendances increase anyway. Um, I think it's a fantastic. It listen, it was a great atmosphere today. My, my throat don't think so, but um, it's a great atmosphere. It really was, and uh, yeah, no, it's, it just goes from strength to strength, doesn't it? I think if you, I think if you're an Arsenal fan today, you think, oh, we've not got anything out of that game. But I know how hard we've worked to to stop them playing because they're a world class team. You know, they're a world class team. So, but uh, but no, it was fantastic. It was a great atmosphere, and I'm just glad we spoke the party. Everyone happy? Thank, Thank you. you very much. Safe to any home, everyone. Thank you.